In case you are wondering what the frass on squash vine bore entry points looks like, you can see all that yuck right there. I have a squash vine bore in there. Given that it's still early, I'm going to try to cut it out, which usually means going from the frass point up. I don't think he's gotten very far. Um, there he is. You see that little black head in there? There he is. Now that one was still quite small. Um, it's super super early for them to even be boring it's end of may i shouldn't even be seeing moths yet but i've been seeing them for about a month um i have sprayed bt neem oil i have manually scraped off eggs unfortunately with this warm season there's just it's it's more difficult than it normally is to keep them at bay um and even with all these these preventions they are still going to get in and that's when you do squash surgery or you can actually inject the stems with BT. Um, but since this is, the, this is the first one that I have found so far, I just dug it out. I kind of dug it out in pieces since it was so small. Um, and I'm gonna rebury the stem at the point where I dug it out so it'll reroot in the soil. Now squash will reroot anywhere it makes contact with the soil, so you don't have to bury it deep. You just have to allow it to make contact with the soil. A good example here is on a squash that has done it all on its own, um, gone through the mulch where the stem was laying on the mulch and already started rerooting. You can see here, these are uh, new roots and if I try to lift it, it won't lift off the soil because it's rerooted into the soil right there. And that's how you get squash to survive and how I had squash that wasn't even attached to its original root system at the end of the season last year. It rerooted and kept on growing.